most common types of sequences are arithmetic and geometric uh, sequences. So what is the difference between these two and how do you identify uh, what they are? An arithmetic sequence is going to be a sequence where the difference between any two terms is always the same. So there's a common difference, essentially, for uh, an arithmetic series. So for example, if I have something like 1, 4, 7, 10, etc., this is an arithmetic series because 4 minus 1 is 3, 7 minus 4 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3. So the difference is the same between every single term. A geometric series, on the other hand, has a common ratio where if I divide any term by its preceding term, that's going to be the same. So something like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 would be a geometric series. 16 over 8 is 2, 8 over 4 is 2, 4 over 2 is 2, 2 over 1 is 2, etc. So that's, that's the difference between arithmetic and geometric series and what each of them is. Uh, one thing that's pretty common uh, to ask you to do is to find the explicit form of an arithmetic and geometric series. So given an array or a sequence of numbers, write down an equation that will tell me what is the nth term of that sequence. Okay. Um, often they will be defined recursively, but it's useful to be able to write down an explicit form so you don't have to rely on the preceding term. So for an arithmetic series, the explicit term, uh, the nth term of an arithmetic series is given by um, the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So let me put d there. Okay. So let's look at it for this, right? So for this specific sequence, my common difference uh, is going to be 3. My first term is 1. Um, so I'm going to have that tn equals 1 plus I'm going to have n minus 1 times 3. So this is going to be equal to, I'm going to have 3n minus 3 plus 1. So 3n uh, and then 3n minus 3 uh, plus 1 and minus 2. Okay. And if we check this, right, we can plug these in. 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, the first term, right, 1 times 3 is uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 is 7. So this successfully generates the term that we want. So this top line here is, is our equation to generate an explicit form. For a geometric series, uh, instead you're going to get the nth term uh, is going to be equal to the first term times the common ratio, r, raised to the n minus 1 power. Okay, So for this one, the common ratio is 2 and our first term is 1. So I should be able to say that tn equals 1 times 2 to the n minus 1. So we can check this. Uh, term 1, I'm going to do 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 to the 0 is 1. Okay. Uh, then we say, what is uh, for the second term? I'm going to plug in 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2. Correct. Third term, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, and so on. So this generates the explicit form, the explicit equation um, of your sequence. Okay. Now, another thing that you uh, are going to want to do with arithmetic and geometric se uh, sequences is sum the first n terms. So if I want to know what's the sum of the first 10 terms of this series sequence or the first 10 terms of this sequence, how do we do that? So the sum for an arithmetic series sequence is Sn, so the sum of the first n terms, is n over 2 times the first term plus the nth term. Okay. So let's say I want to sum the first, we'll just do the first four, right? Uh, then I'm going to have the sum of the first four terms is going to be 2 times, right, 4 over 2, times 1 plus the fourth term, which is 10. So I'm going to get 22. And we can check this, right? I have 17 plus 4 is 21, plus 1 is 22. So this checks out. For a geometric sequence, the sum of the first n terms is going to be equal to the first term times the common ratio. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we need to do, I was looking at the last one, the first term times 1 minus the common race ratio raised to the nth power divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So let's say I want to sum, I don't know, just the first three terms here. So this should be 4, 5, 6, 7, right? 
So let's check that. If I want to find the sum of the first seven terms, that's going to be equal to term one is one, so I have one times one minus two to the third divided by one minus two. So two to the third is two times two is four times two is eight. So I'm going to get one minus eight. So I'm going to get negative seven on top. And I'm going to get on the bottom negative one. Negative seven over negative one is going to be equal to positive seven, which matches the expectation that we have. So this is how you uh, can figure out if there's an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. You look at the, is there a common difference? Is there a common ratio? If the answer to both these questions is no, it's okay for a sequence to be neither. Um, there are many types of sequences, and arithmetic and geometric are just two of the more common types. Uh, but you should know how to put them into an explicit form given a sequence, um, and also find the sum of the first n terms of the sequence.